Hello, hello, hello. We are here. We have some Nancy Drew. I hope you're having a good day or evening. We're gonna have some puzzle dates with Secrets Can What Kill Remastered. It's been a little while since we've done Nancy, so let's get Hi, at it. I'm Nancy Drew. This Hi, is Nancy. my center of operations, my death. Oh, shit. <laughs> that made it quiet real quick. Okay, our current assignment. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. Don don ba don. Let's head on out. Task list. We love you. Who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Love, Nancy. Why, hello, one true. How you going? You both dreaming? Oh, wait, that just means I need to put you... Why can't I put you in a new tab? That's great. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, 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 wait. I'm loading you. How you been, honey? You having a good day? Or evening? I've just found an absolute travesty. This is for you. How have you been? <laughs> what are you streaming, honey? Okay, let's get this started. So that's Nancy. I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember not to enter in a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. You're doing good? Oh, hell yeah. Do the calculator. <laughs> Dark Cloud. Ooh, I haven't heard of that one. Oh. Paso del Omar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority. Cordially invites you to attend the 25th Annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority Reunion, Saturday the 23rd. The Emerald Crest Ballroom, Paso del Mar C Country Club. Pasado Mar, Florida. Round robin golf tournament starts at 3.30 reception and dinner at 7 o'clock. Dessert and dancing immediately follows. Immediately. No holds bar. Gotta be done. I'm gonna just write down our lovely Sigma Phi Kappa and Delta symbols for good luck. Can we open any more drawers? No. Aha! Already here. Perfection. What do, wait, what do we need? Sigma. Phi. Kappa. Delta. Boom, we're in. What else can we get? What else can we get? Oh, a sliding puzzle. Oh no, I don't like these. It's a PS2 game with a few good graphics. Ooh. What? Mm, what type of game is it? Is it like a more action-y one? Or is it a puzzle one like me? Something tells me that has to be up the top. Hmm. 
form not been on no good oops it's an rpg puzzle sim kind of game Ooh. okay i hope it's well i hope you'll have fun honey i hope it's some good games for you but i need to write in this password so the login name is eloise and drew in uppercase and our password is O Wise Elder. Also uppercase. Do, do, do. What else have we got? Anything? Nah. What else can we find? Reminders, talk to Jake about library books out of order. Call Nancy to get a flight number and call Jackie about Spanish schools. What else have we got? Ooh. During her trip with Maxine, Maggie learned an old hiker's trick. Are Lena and Maggie coming to tea? inquired Carl. No, they've gone to see the bandit's treasure at the Land Lakes Theatre, replied Angie. Anya. Brady Armstrong is playing the lead. Oh, not him. Oh, I once visited Brady's restaurant in Napa, California, scored Renee. Renee. It's called Mama Lones. It was magnificent. I ate there, said Carl, and got a sick on a jellyfish sandwich. Ah ha 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 ha, Bob whined. Winnied. I can't read today, apparently. Oh, offered Renee. Renata. I don't know. You should have tried the dog's eye. It was Robin Hood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in that neighbourhood, joked Carl. Everyone laughed. I rarely dined out, complained Anya. Only once in a blue moon. Stifling a yawn, Renata pulled down her Glam Glam magazine. When are we going to return to the big island? Mike stood up and glared at Renata. Pish, pish. You know I'll never go back there. Oh, don't be such a baby, scolded Renata. Mike is afraid to go back because he got bit by a spider there, she explained to the other guests. He went to the ER and the bill was huge because his copay is so much. My dad always wants to preach and complain about high insurance costs, much of Lucas. You know, I always wanted to be a national, Carl interrupted. Did you hear that Daryl is going to the Air Force Academy? Is he? asked Renata, offering a plate of cutlets to her guests. There is so many little uh, nods to other games. That is insane. <laughs> we got any more? <gasps> TV time! <laughs> and just no reflection. We is the one true vampire. Nothing? Okay. Haunted Ghost Bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and even others have felt a cold, tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings, but the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century, when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here, all returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year. At first, the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specialising in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls could only say one phrase. One phrase. Follow the X to the spot below. Bom, bom, bom. So spookies. Okay, that's where we came in. There's definitely more to look at. Like this? Can we look? Shinies! Oh, we're gonna get rich by finding shinies. Want to do this as cray cray? On the one true vampire? <laughs> Maybe you're related! Are you related to Nancy? <laughs> oh, where? That's done. 
check. Okay, so we've got to go to high school and talk to the students about the murder victim. And look around the library for clues. Oh, and we're going to take the cell phone call. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you've found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So, what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Very descriptive. Oh. This brings back memories of the... of, of playing it back in the day. Mm, okay, so we're at the house. We're gonna go to the school before we go to Maxine's diner. Let's go this way. Founded 1967. What do we got? The thrill of victory, Paso, fi Paso fighting manatees, surf club. We've got something there we can click on. Enchantment under the stars. Trig teal nod but um, 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 um. <laughs> Give a look back in the good old days. Oh, hello, DM. Thank you for the lurk, honey. I hope you're having a good one. Oh, I don't know. What are you? We had the good old day when I was a child. Mm, okay, we'll come back to you. Oh, so we need a code. Now that I think about it, this... How to... Frimmin onin with it. Scroll run up heck rhyme things in black. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother reading any more of that. Men's judo. Bathrooms, homecoming. Oh. So there's a load of codes everywhere. Oh. These are all confusing. Oh, hello. We can get our eyes tested. Oh, monies. Gotta go for the monies. We got soda. An out of water soda. Judo for men and women of all ages. Get a jump on education. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure also that looks like Darren. But some letters I'm missing. Anyway, good luck. Oh, one of the past. One of the messages. Ooh, okay, I'll find that. Uh, thank you for the good lucks. I'll solve the mystery for you. <laughs> oh, we have a dude over there. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's... Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. Uh, I'm gonna call you Hector. How did you know I was new here? Hey, you're talking to the man, the number one football player in the state of Florida. I know all the beautiful girls at Paseo Del Mar High. Are you kidding? Mm. Uh, who do you who play, do you for? play for? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. Mm, to who are the manatees? Who are the manatees? <laughs> Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. Mm, I know if I come across a manatee. Actually, I'm afraid of them. Aren't they really dangerous? What? No! 
Of course not. I, I ain't scared of no sea if cow. I come across a manatee. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. That's the dead Jake guy. Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Okay. Whatever you say, Hector. This way. What have we got? Oh, we got some Nancys and some Monies. Oh, lots of fan art. I like it. That's the way we just came. Oh, we have another code. Okay. We're just going to go around, looking around at first. So this is the library. We'll have a look everywhere else first. Okay. I'm going to get a lay of the land. Oh, we've got another person. Paso High School News. Seniors, all entries and art exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Drew for info. And another code. Tutoring available. Okay. Who's Hi, this? my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that, but I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be Are part you? of the culture and succeed in this country. Mm. What's been going on at school lately? So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. Mm. Yeah, I heard about that. Some I heard about Jake. that. Some kid named Jake? Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Oh, he's already ready. Have you heard of ready Hulk for a Sanchez? Chat. Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Ooh, tell us Hulk the gossip. Heard a few weeks ago, ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Okay. Bye. I must go now, Nancy. Give me the monies. So we gotta go that way. Oh, there isn't one on this board. Oh, well, there is. I lied. Okay, we got another one. Infos. Here we go. Friends and family are invited to come to the 5th annual picnic of the Paso de Mar Junior High School Marching Band. Meet in the parking lot at 9 in the morning. Picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reserve Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress, whites except for hats. A brass recital is set for later. Ooh. That'll be fun. Oh, look at the fans. The beautiful beings. Hello. Okay, so there is a door. Over there. 
Go on, keep looking. Small soda. I'm going to be rich by the end of this. Got another per person? I was going to say purple. Okay, let's talk to her first. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. <gasps> <It's> fucking weird. <laughs> Everyone true. You already scared me immensely. <laughs> mm, who found the body? Who found the body? I heard it was Daryl Gray, Paseo del Mar's hot student council president. Daryl Gray? Daryl Gray? Oh yeah, Daryl's one of the coolest guys at school. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Later. Hey, Nancy, need something? Oh, she's ready. Have you I need. Seen I should talk to Hector again. Weird messages on the bulletin boards. <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with the territory of being school monitor. Normally, it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. Pranks? Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What type of what pressure? pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. That's very quick, okay. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. See you later. Bye. It's very quick and to the point, these responses. Nancy, you can't go in there. Why the hell not? Okay, gotta wait till she leaves. We got another one. Essay contest. The Hilda Emma Swenson Foundation will award scholarship for eight thousand dollars to the best senior essay. The theme of this year's contest is methods of good citizenship and role modeling. This is only open to seniors. Interested parties should contact Mr. Suzalu by September fifth. Boom boom boom. We've got maintenance room. Oh, we'll learn some braille. Boom, 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 boom. The Roaring Girl, a Jacobean comedy, performs this Friday, Sunday at 8 pm. Doctor Deception, a poetic dream written by senior essays winners of Paso High School. Student files under the lock and key will show you the lies of the Doctor to be. Ba -da -ba -dum. Tickets go on sale Monday at 9 a.m. Okay. Okay, so that seems to be all the areas. Let's go talk to Hector one more time, and then we'll go check out the How's library. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge they fan. They talk about robots, they do! Guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week? I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. Okay. What can Making you tell a suspicious me about of Hal. Watson? I see, I see. She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. 
Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Fair. Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Quick. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. I gotta go. See ya. It definitely sounds like instead of like recording, I just want to look here, um, the dialogue as like a full set, they did it like sentence by sentence. Okay, let's go in here. We're in! Magazines? Sports Today, Race to the Finish Line. The insanity of steroid abuse. Anabot. Anabolic steroids are drugs used to enhance athletic performance and build muscle mass. They are virtually all derivatives of the testosterone, or substances which promote the overproduction of testosterone in primates. In America, anabolic steroids are classed as a controlled substance and possession of even small amounts of hectanol or human growth hormone could land a dealer in jail. Yet, steroid use has doubled and redoubled in the American fitness scene over the last 20 years. What is the attraction? What a tone shift the music is. What is this? Okay. Why would a star amateur or professional athlete risk jail time for possession? Because many people think they can get a little bit of extra performance if they take the stuff. Peer pressure among college and even high school athletic teams is another reason. If everyone on the team is taking the drugs, you have to as well keep you have to as well to keep up. Because the early gains from anabolic steroid use are awesome. But there are no shortcuts to athletic excellence. The psychological side effects are terrible. Liver damage, heart disease, and impotence are just a few problems. The low body fat levels encountered with heavy steroid use are unhealthy. In addition, through anabolic steroids grow at a fast rate. The don't change the composition of the connective tissues nor the heaviness of the bones. Thus, while the muscles are stronger, the support systems for them are not so. Are not, so injury is often the result. What have we got? Encyclopedias. Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Crane. That's different. I don't know what that is, but River doesn't look like that, but I'll take it. It could also just be the Chinese characters, so who knows? Marie Antoinette. Ooh -ooh. Born in Vienna, Austria on November 2nd, 1755, she was the youngest daughter of Francis I and Maria Theresa, Emperor and Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. In 1770, as a young teenager, she was obliged to wed Louis. Louis XVI of France to symbolise an alliance between France and her parents' dynasties, the Habsburgs of Austria. Four years later, Marie Antoinette became Queen of France when her husband was crowned King Louis XVI. As Queen, her lavish lifestyle made her unpopular. While the commoners stood in breadlines praying for food, they cursed the Queen who was living so comfortably in her grand palace, the people's discontent grew and grew until a full-scale revolution broke out in 1789. In 1791, it looked like the monarchy would not survive, and Marie sought assistance from the other European rulers. It was arranged for the king and queen to escape Paris on the night of June 12th, but revolutionary forces apprehended the royal couple at Varennes on June 25th, escorted them back to Paris as prisoners. Oh, there's going to be a lot, isn't there? Lizzie Applegate, well loved by San Franciscans, both for her cultural and humanitarian contributions. Lizzie Applegate was a talented actress and songwriter who began her career entertaining minors at local gold camps. In 1880, Lizzie wrote and starred in the tremendously successful play The Bandit's Treasure, 
His cast included Norma Dentfin, Lenore Socast, and Pam Doherty. This initial success was followed by a string of other hits, including The Riddle of the Chinese Box, The Fire in the Phoenix's Eye, and Rainbow's Gold. Boom. Harry Houdini. Born in 1874 in Budapest, Hungary, under the name of Eric Wies. Houdini's family soon moved to Appleton, Wisconsin. From there, at the age of 12, Houdini ran away from home. By the age of 13, he had reunited with his family in New York City and began performing magic card tricks under his original stage name, Eric the Great. In the course of his illustrious 33-year career, Houdini escaped from prison cells, handcuffs, leg irons, straitjackets, packing crates, milk cans, coffins, and St. Louis tycoon J.J. Thompson's infamous watery grave. In addition to being the, great escape art the greatest escape artist of all time, Eugenie was also a master of illusion. In 1918, at a Hippodrome in New York City, he made an elephant disappear on stage, and according to Houdini, the elephant Jenny weighed 10,000 pounds. His brilliant skill and ability to baffle and amaze an audience remains unsurpassed to this day. Oh. Braille! Oh, we need a photo of that. Let us in! Boop. Okay, there's that one. Oh yeah, can we access this desk at all? No. Do 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 what do we got? I don't know, but it's got another one of the codes. I should probably start writing these codes down, shouldn't I? What do we got? I got some red and some blues. I don't know what to search just yet. I saw one here. What is a relic? Throughout the ages, the remains and intimate possessions of religious figures have been recovered, preserved, and renovated and venerated by their followers. Such items, known as relics, are particularly important in Cath Catholicism. After Constantine facilitated the establishment of Christianity as the predominant religion of the Roman Empire in AD 312, Consecrating new churches by securing and sometimes displaying the relics of saints became standard practice. Over the centuries, as cathedrals and basilicas, basilicas were built and rebuilt across Europe, the relics associated with them often dictated their political as well as spiritual importance. importance. Relics were kept in a cavity inside the altar, the sepulchre of a church or in a container, a reliquary, or more often were simply buried so they would become literally and figuratively part of the church's foundation. Often a relic consisted of partial remains, sometimes a single finger or a lock of hair. Sometimes it was an item of the saint had habitually worn or touched, clothes, jewellery, even dishware. It was, and still, is not uncommon for the relics of the single saint to be several different churches on several different continents. The bodies of some saints seem miraculously immune to decomposition. These incorruptibles can still be seen in churches throughout Europe, lying in the state in glass sculptures. Sepulchres. Their natural appearance belaying the fact that they died centuries earlier. 
What follows is a survey of the relics that can be found in modern day Venice. About some of them, much is known. About most of them, little is known. The history of many of them is a frustrating mishmash of fact and fancy, but none of the relics ended up where they are by accident. Someone, sometime, believed they were sacred and went to great lengths to preserve them against the unrelenting onslaught of time and human forgetfulness. The relics of St. Mark. Not surprisingly, the remains of St. Mark the Evangelist are buried in St. Mark's Bellisca. Basilica. I'm going to keep getting that word confused. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, famous for writing the earliest of the four Gospels of the New Testament, Mark spread the Gospel as well, travelling great distances to preach, eventually founding a church in Alexandria, Egypt. When he died, his remains were enshrined at the church he had founded. The city of Venice at that time did not exist. But by 828, Venice not only existed, it was looking for a way to demonstrate its independence from both Rome and Byzantium and be recognised as a major commercial and cultural centre as it was well on its way to becoming. Consequently, a group of Venetian merchants obtained the body of St. Mark, moving, translating, it from Alexandria to the chapel of the Doge, the secular ruler of Venice. Some accounts say the merchants purchased the remains, but as far as more likely that they stole them. The city rationalised its actions by recounting a story in which St. Mark, while sailing to a town nearby, was forced to wait out a storm in the lagoon, which would later give rise to Venice. An angel reportedly appeared to him and said, be at peace here, as in, don't be afraid of the storm. The Venetians, however, claimed the angel meant rest here, as in, be buried and rest eternally here. In honour of his city's new patron saint, the doge rebuilt and expanded his chapel, which eventually became the grand basilica it is today, and the city of Venice basked in its newfound status as the guardian and protector of one of the greatest figures in the history of Christianity. The Relics of Saint Theodore Two tall columns built in the 12th century flanked the Pizarra of the Piazza San Marco, Atop one of its w is a winged lion, symbol of St. Mark the Evangelist. Atop the other is a man standing on a crocodile, a symbol of Egypt. This is St. Theodore of Amasia, the original patron saint of Venice. As Christianity spread through Europe and the Middle East following the Edict of Constantine, it was common for cities to obtain the relics of a particular saint, and dedicate the city to their protection. In return, that saint would guard the city, for their patron saint, Byzantine officials who founded Venice chose Saint Theodore, a young soldier who was martyred for his Christian beliefs in AD 306, in Amisa, a city which is now Turkey. By the 9th century, however, Venetian officials considered Theodore to be an Eastern saint, one more closely associated with the Byzantium than Rome and lacking in star power. And so, when Saint Mark's relics were translated to Venice in 828, the relics of St. Theodore were quietly removed from the Doge's chapel and forgotten. His body is said to have been translated to the church which bears his name in Constantinople, while his head is in Gattia, Italy. But it is unclear whether there are the same relics that were once enshrined in Venice. So he, so he's just straight up disappeared is what, what's, what they're saying. Uh, Gervais and his twin brother Protes were the sons of two Christian martyrs in Milan. They too were martyred for their faith, probably when Marcus Aurelius was the Roman Emperor, 161 to 180. Little else is known about their lives, it is in the way in which their relics were discovered that made them truly remarkable. In 386, St. Ambrose needed relics in order to consecrate his new Bellisca in Milan. Heeding what he had seen in a dream, he started digging in a cemetery outside the city and there found the remains of St. Tobias and St. Protes. The relics were moved to his basilica and buried there, and the twins became the patron saints of Milan, but the story wasn't over. In the grave for St. Gervais was the cup he and his brother had presumably shared while growing up. Undoubtedly placed in the grave by a friend or relative, the cup was quite plain, most likely made of tin with the letter P awkwardly scrolled into the metal on one side and the letter G on the other. At least that's what the cup looked like when it was removed from the grave. Legend has it that upon exposure to the sun, the cup was miraculously transformed into a majestic solid gold, jewel encrusted chalice. The twins' initials were still on it, only now they were precisely drawn patterns of gleaming precious stones. 
There is no record that the chalice of St. Gervais was ever placed on display in the Bellisca Sant'Ambrogio in Milan, which means it was either given away or more likely stolen soon after its discovery. More than a thousand years later, the chalice surfaced in Assisi when it is used to pay off a debt. It eventually fell into the hands of a priest who realised what it was and in 1708 presented it to the convent of St. Gervais in Venice. For 300 years, the nuns there have watched over the beloved relic. While the convent is closed to the public, it is possible through extreme difficulty for people who have dem a demonstrable interest in art or history to arrange for a private viewing of the chalice. Well, damn. What else have we got? Just the one? Monsters! Werewolves! This is the same one from Curse of Blackmoor Manor. Peliki. So I will not be reading, and plus my voice already hurts. Lol. What do we got? Gemstones and how to identify them from the last train of Blue Moon Mountain. The last train to Blue Moon, not Blue Moon Mountain. So we've got some pretty little gemstones. What else have we got? Ichido. Introduction to Ichido. Uh, danger by design. Attack up left. Up right, up center. Mid left, mid right, mid center, low left, low right, low center. That's all of those. Can we go upstairs? Well, okay. Someone's just nicked something. What's this? That is all in French, so I will not be reading that one at all. That's the French one. Okay. Prefates. This one's Spanish. Okay, I read this one. I don't recognize this one. It could also be. The uh, forbidden one. You just never want to read this on your account. I know. I thought I already had. I'm sorry. But I am now, so I will get all your notifications, and I can check into you, honey. Honestly, that that was the travesty I saw earlier, and I was like, oh my god, what is this? But yeah, I sighs. I did not know. Hey Ray, how's it going? You're here for the nuggies? Oh, we love us some nuggies. I want some so bad. <laughs> Doing the most quiet of the streamer, by the way. That's all chill. I'll tune in whenever you whenever you decide to get loud. <laughs> really talking when you do, it's abysmal. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, you had some the other day? Oh, I'm jealous. You had nuggies. I need to get some nuggies. I'm trying. I need to save money, but I just want some nuggies. <gasps> and milkshake. I want a milkshake. I haven't had a milkshake literally since last year. It'd be so good. Oh. But how are you doing, honey? It's er. Wait. It's early for you. How early is it for you? 
Want you give me all the nuggies? Yes, join the nuggies gang. All we want in life is the the Macca's nuggies. Oh, this is making me hungry. I've already had dinner. You gotta get those fries too for the milkshake. Oh, are you Ray? Are you one of those people that dips their fries in the milkshake? Is this what you're telling me? Yes. No. I can't believe you. No. It's the only way. It is the wrong way. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. My siblings do it too. They put it in milkshakes and they put it in the sundaes and the flurries. I don't understand. <laughs> it is the only way. No. I want to dip it into my sauce. I well, as long, you know what, as long as it's just the fries, that's okay. If you start dipping your nuggies into your milkshake, we're going to be, there are going to be some fighting words. <laughs> Want you to dishonor on me for not liking the milkshake fries? I don't, I don't get it. You're just, you're just ruining both parties. They're separate, they should be separated. Sorry and Sweet are a match made in heaven. No. Not. While I agree on that sentiment, fries and milkshake or ice cream, uh uh. Uh uh. Oh no. Not fair, Nuggies. That's like. <laughs> oh no. Let me move my, my laptop just a smidgey. I've had it sat on my lap, but my legs are down. Hold on, I, I, I have a milkshake question for you guys. What is the best flavour of the milkshake? I've just like, I've like your basic three. Your vanilla, your strawberry, your chocolate. None, none of the like, the limited edition stuff. My AI just gave you the not today face. It's because I'm just imagining the taste of a fry dipped in a milkshake. The fries and milkshake for lunch. <laughs> Strawberry. Canola. Vanilla. You both. Oh. So we're the trifecta. So Ray, you like strawberry. One tree, you like the vanilla. I'm a chocolate gal. But I do have to admit, sometimes I do just start craving the other two flavors. <laughs> Oh, hold up. Let me read some Spanish history for you boys. Uh, in the 17th century Spain, Captain General Jean Ignacio de Santa Ana Domingo was something of a celebrity, known to sailors simply as El Toro. He was the Spanish royalty's go-to guy when it came to transporting exceptionally valuable cargo from present-day Central America back to Spain. Not only was he an expert navigator, but he was a gifted tactician when it came to naval warfare. He was adept at eluding and, when necessary, defeating the pirates who often pursued his ships. By 1665, he and the seven majestic galleons under his command had become legendary. I'm getting some content. Hi, Dad. <laughs> but all three are good, though. They are. All three are good. I can't just say chocolate. There's always after the minute. I got the swirls as a kid. <laughs> What about just, you know, just a van vanilla soft, soft serve cone dipped in chocolate? That's pretty dope. Okay. Right, in the 17th century, they dip fries in their milkshakes? <laughs> no, the horror. The absolute horror. Oh. Uh, one sec, where am I? Ah, start. But four years later, as summer in the New World came to a close, the legend took a tragic turn. Anchored in the port of Portobello, El Toro abruptly ordered his seven virtues fleet to set sail for Spain despite increasingly bad weather and reports that the infamous privateer Henry Morgan was in the area. The cargo he was transporting must, must have been extraordinarily precious for him to take such a risk. 
One that, unfortunately, dishonor, dishonor on your whole family. Um, no one knows which knows which the fleet encountered: Henry Morgan or the hurricane which devastated the Caribbean islands days later, or perhaps both. This much is known: El Toro and his crew and the entire seven virtuous fleet were never seen again, as would the Vistra Senora del Atocha of the Tierra Firme fleet and a half a century before, all had disappeared without a trace. We're just gonna butcher up the Spanish, we've just gotta get past it. <laughs> and so somewhere hidden in the depths of the glint glitch the glinting blue waters of the Caribbean rest the remains of El Toro's galleons and a treasure so valuable that scores of men lost their lives trying to protect it. Its precise whereabouts remains a mystery, but someday some lucky soul, perhaps armed only with scuba gear, a metal detector, and a shovel will find it. Someday El Toro will be a celebrity once again. There's so much reading in this library. What gives? What's over here? A ham radio. Okay, that's from Scarlet Hand, so I'm not reading that again. Crystal Skull from Crystal Skull. Not reading that again. <laughs> you got the big one. He does. Wait, wait. Also, you drizzle syrup on your bacon too. That makes sense. Maple syrup on your bacon. Top notch. We're on board with that one. Jake was here. Uh, things to remember me. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbox behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. Okay. Let me get my pen back. So we have an I. You too. We've got to get something from the diner. And then we've got to go by our pyramid go forward um you got the one that was over there yeah so much rolling did that go to high school look around can't check go to that the diner can't check that off yet did that I got all the posters in the gym area. That's done. Haven't done that. Current aunt and Louise's free key. That. Still have to do that. Talk to Connie about her. Still have to do that. Okay, so we actually have a lot to do. Damn. Haven't had bacon for years now, though. I don't think I've had real bacon for quite a while since I moved to Japan. Last time you were legit a teen. Damn, that's a... That's at least two years! Muffin would have a marmalade chocolate sundae. Mummy. I haven't had marmalade for a while. Oh yeah, we're just spinning. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we're just gonna go through and find all these. So we have... Where's my pen? Uh, Y, D, three, and I'm just also just gonna mark just how many we have to write down. Dun 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 dun. Here we go. See, uh, our fork. This is backwards. Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in school. We're gonna order some soda, lads. One sec. You ready for an alarm? Nice one. Whoop whoop. Can't stop me. Uh, 
Uh, okay, nothing there. Right here, we got another one. Okay. Dun dun R1. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, 12 years, we're 28. Dishonor the Sherbet Frosty. 12 years? Damn! You're older than me, hun. Not by much. But yeah, I. When did I graduate high school? I graduated 2014. Like nine years ago? Oh my god, yeah, it's, it's almost been 10 years. Next year is 10 years. Oh, damn. That is. kinda horrifying, honestly. Oh, I need that. Uh, KRL2. Alarm still blaring. Here we go. Got I R D two. This is the same as the soda code. Up, down, left, right. The first letters will help my plight okay what else have we got oh here we go We've got hfl1 boom 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 your child compared to you wow <laughs> a shocking two years <laughs> We old beans, school alarm. Ugh, those noises killed my ears. You know what? One of the things I always found surprising is you know how in like TV shows or, so, or like movies, they're like someone will pull like the fire alarm. Never had anyone do it in my schools. I guess it was just too much effort for them. That, and I think by the time I was in high school, they had that, uh, uh, what's it called? That thing where your hands would, like, get dyed a colour if you pressed it. Yeah. So it was probably safer that we didn't, honestly. Here we go. C R uh, one. Is there another one in here? Okay, we got all the boards in here. I want to see if this. Oh, we haven't even got a key, so there's no point even trying to see if she'll leave with the alarm on. Okay, let's go to Maxine's. We had one to do it, never again, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to Maxine's. I'm you look Darryl so Gray. old. I don't think I've seen you here sure. before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Tell me about your school, bruh. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last Ooh, week. Who was murdered? Who was murdered? A senior named Jake Rogers. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? Who did it? Give me the gas. No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. 
maybe even the FBI. I, I is the special. Um, did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? Um, honestly, I not normally. I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Sorry, I'm just looking for something. Uh, tell me about Ellie Watson. Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Ew. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. I already have a boy. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. His name is Nedward. Boom, 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 boom. Mm, okay, what tell me about Hal. Tell me about Hal Tanaka. Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. Mm. How do you know? How well do you know oh. Hulk Sanchez? How well do you know big the guy, Hector? Big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure. I'm to spying perform. on your stream, one true. I'm looking in your chat. Didn't I hear that you found <laughs> Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president gets keys. To oh, he school. found it. We had an early morning okay. council meeting, and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life, and I really don't want to think about it right now. See you later. Take care. Honestly, yeah, seeing a a dead body like if you've never like seen one before it's quite jarring <gasps> i put money in to play this game like an idiot i don't even like this game Okay, we're getting through a few of them. Two. I mean, if we're playing it, we're gonna win. Oh, it's faster. We got bonuses. Venice of Venice music playing. The cat dance. Oh, sorry, I am so focused. <gasps> I bugged it. Okay. Oh, how many levels? I've already buggered it. The 
focus. Full win on that one. Hey. Oh, still so many. Go that way. Boom. Is that all? Okay, now. We got to level 5. I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. I'm done. Let me out. Let me escape. Freedom! Oh, 25 cents to change the music? No. I think not. Oh, we got another cold. We got another cold. Thanks, in. Ah, oh, three. Oh, and some of these letters are in colours. Hmm. They're in different. Hold on. We got some greens. J O U R L R N N A L and then in red his Blue is my, and then pink, cash cow. His journal is my cash cow. Ooh. Cash cow, who is? The Daryl. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, this is Uncle our Steve. Uh, Nancy. Uncle Steve. Why, I haven't seen you since, uh, uh for a long time. <laughs> How's your aunt, Aunt Eloise? Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Give me a debrief. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit, well. My undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. 
We suspect he was involved oh, in something can't relate. shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? Mm. Yeah, do we need a combo? Can you tell me the combination to Jake's locker? Well, like I said, we already looked in his locker. There's nothing there. I know, but I'd like to see for myself. Then you'll need to figure it out by yourself. I found a notepad in the library that seems like a message from Jake. Really? Tell me more. It says, things to remember me, and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. This is the best lead we've had. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, you need to keep a low profile and be careful. How can I get maybe. the teacher's I'll think about lounge? it. Look, Nancy, maybe this assignment isn't for you. I can't be holding your hand all the time. Your job is you to come to me with I solutions. I did. I came to say hello. Problems. Life's too short to not have a cat. I want a cat. I want several cats. I just want to take all the strays around here and just make them See mine. See you around. See you later. But yeah. Hello in your stream, honey. I'm in. Boys, much wash hands before leaving this room. I have a ladle. Dear Daryl, I need to break off our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm very, very sorry, but something suddenly came up. Oh, he got dumb. Oh, there was something on the fridge. Maxine, Daryl, Carl, Yul, and Mel. Maxine wanted me to write a memo describing the finer points of closing the diner. Some people think there are some secrets to the process, but it couldn't be easier. After totaling out the cash register, the cashier brings the cook the, rest, the receipts to store in the potato bin. The cook also needs to check the life expiration dates on all foods and throw expired ones out. The cashier and cook get all the food crumbs off the counter. The cook preps all condiments for the next day. All services are washed so they are bright and shiny. Okay, and we have another code. This is code 15. Oh, I think this might be the first one in the list. Yeah, that's what his thing said. This is the breath. It scared you? Am I that scary? Am I like a ghost? Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Uh, oh, it's a check. See, hey, check. Yeah. No, I'm wrong. Check your eyes. I I'm gonna have to write this down to do it. So C H E C K Y E R E Y E S. I G H T I N G Y Check your eye sighting. What? What? That makes no sense. Oh, but there is a, co a second code here. I just completely ranked on. T E L free. Spooky scary ghost for sure. Or oh, I am the scariest of ghosts. So let's check the potato bin.
Nope, this one. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Okay, gotta to talk to the students again. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Haven't done that. Okay, so we now have to go. Oh, no. Go to Aunt Eloise's house. I'm going to check her safe again. No, I can't pick that up. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Let me go talk to all the kids again. Hey Nancy, need something? How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Oh, you had a, yeah, you had a date with him and you canceled. Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. This one. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. What is it you want now? <laughs> Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. Well, dude, can I look in your stuff? You might be wondering why I'm even sending this, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways we catch each other's eyes, it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you every time I drive to or from school. It's like you're in the car with me and we have these awesome conversations, and I'm and I'm thinking, will this ever become true? Can you ever forgive me what, for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows that it's not safe and stupid to do. Sometimes I just can't keep bottled up inside me. I just want to scream it from the rooftops. Is this crazy? Am I? Oh, she's have. Oh, I don't even have the key. Hmm. Did that? I don't have a key. Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? Mm, maybe. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Hey <laughs> <Bye>, Nancy. <laughs> I can handle them. Also, I am I am behind schedule. Um, okay. I want to go double... No. I want to go double check that note. Oh, I need the key. Uh... 
a matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My message holds the remaining 18. The elements tell the order, the letter, and the digit. Hmm. Okay. So the one I saw on the note isn't included. That's what it's telling me. And then reference books. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Follow the directions of the secret in the map drawer. Okay. Uh, go by reds and then by blues. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog your combo I don't know what your combo is that's done uh, on okay so we're gonna go to Aunt Eloise Aunt Eloise's house. Mm, actually, let's go talk. How's it going? What can you tell me about Daryl? Have a gossip. He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Okay. I gotta go. Bye, Nancy. Going to Aunt Eloise's house. It got me something else. Can I even click anything here? Oh, yes, yeah, so it's a normal. I found it! So everyone was the almanac with all the quotes. Wait, can we tell Connie some orang the thing? What is it you want doing? now? Ooh. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I guess. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Okay. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, so we've got to go set the alarm off. Great, great, orange, cool. What is it you want now? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay. 
Okay, let's check these. Seeing your final papers. How? Reminder, how to ask for senior paper to the POM Scholarship Foundation. Okay. That's it. Oh, a trophy was not the only prize, but also the money of greater size. A G D one. The one. The one. The only. A G D one. So we need one more code. Coin. Great Enterprises reported a $500 million second quarter loss Tuesday, but CEO and founder Eugene Gray remained optimistic about the struggling company. We anticipate increased defense spending in the next year. Our new missile guidance system, Bright Aurora, will be online in six months, and we foresee accelerated growth on this new system. A recent Senate hearing examining possible leaks of classified information in the Paso de Mal company has soured many investors. Great Enterprise stock has almost sunk by 75% in the past year. Despite this setback, some analysts remain positive for Gray Enterprises' future. They're the most innovative developer of military hardware, said industry analyst Brenda Bombecker. If they can weather the current storm of mismanagement and loss, they'll do very well with Bright Aurora. Mr. Gray said his company will report a strong profit this year. Coins! Oh, here we go. Here is our last one. Can't pick anything up from here. Bim bim. So we have C L D two. Dun dun dun. I'll look there in a minute. Administration in and out. Okay. My aunt's not even on there. Money. Money. Username. We have that. Three have. How's that? Oh, we're in! We've, we hacked the system. Security report? Okay. Eloise, we need to find a replacement for Drake Rogers for bulletin board duty. Please send me a list of candidates you recommend for this for this duty. Principal pattern. No errors. Cycles. <gasps> Maintenance room. No. And if I look in my photos of the Braille, note is spelt like a seven. O is an arrow to the right. T is like a Tetris block. And E is just uh, two dots diagonally. Okay, what else? Locate missing book or order a replacement for English essays for the ages. Gather donations for sophomore book sale, update meeting information for Passel Book Club, take down student art exhibit on Friday, have library computers networked with the school. Clean stairwell, repair lock and video lab door, Check ADA requirements for doors, call Dylan Havak for boiler service, 
Change password to broad room door. Do do do. Forget. Security detail report. Late lights left on in the library. Send email to E. Drew. All out of entrance doors locked. Checked and locked. Backpack belonged to Connie Watson. Found in student union. Place and lost and found. Several outside security lights are out. Work order submitted to box still in HVAC. Crowd outside on grounds. Observed and ran peering through the school entrance doorway. Was it? Oh, it was Hal, the exchange student. Trying to retrieve his homework. Two individuals arguing in the gym. Two males from Danbury Hoofford. The first male is approximately 5'5". Five five. With red hair, 15 and 18, who wore a green windbreaker. The second male is 15 and 18, wore a jersey with the numbers 8 or 0 on it. Or several students soaping teachers' lounge windows. They were engaged in a senior prank. Students involved were Daryl, Daryl, Nathan Gombert, and Yvonne Wong. Uh, heard screams from East Zerwell. After call number one, found main teenager who apparently fell from stairs. Attempted to apply first aid. That was it. Okay. So I've had a bit of a look, see. Hey, Solf, how's it going? My peanut. <laughs> I'm do always going to love that. How have you been, honey? What have you been Still up to? Have to do that. It says I found all eight. Oh, I do have all 18. Still have to do that. Check. Okay, I'm going to go answer my Hello? phone. You better stop your nosy nosing or it'll get bent way out of shape. Nosy nose soon. Okay, I still don't have the start though. I need to find that oh, the matchbook. What can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teachers. You're just working? Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, we'll play Nancy totally today. We busted. sure is. It was a senior prank. I had to spend <laughs> two days in detention. Wasn't that the night <sighs> just stretching? Forgive me. Yeah, I guess it was. Be able to do some Nancy, really some puzzling. It's been a murder in a high school today. Do you know today. why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Like I said, she's mysterious. Mm, okay. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring. But it'll look good on my college application. True. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working yeah, really I think hard to get the yeah, company we're back on track. The most and it doesn't help to have vultures like you floating over looking it. Nancy Drew, I'm in my sorry, opinion. Darryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Mm, that's about it, Talk mate. Talk to you later. See ya. Hi, talk to you? I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is okay. he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. Bye-bye. You look so sketchy over there. See you later. <gasps> I missed the monies. A not for long. So we need whatever's dropped there. There's gotta be something we've missed. Tomatoes? Okay, why can't I zoom into the tomatoes? Is 
this is where we got the ladle. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, um. Soup. Soup has saved the day. We're good. Um, okay, now we have bolt cutters, but I have not seen anything. You got this, which is like check your eyes, sighting mine. Sighting mine. Sight in gym. There's that uh, eye tester uh, by Hector. We have a plan of action. Mm, this way. Okay, my eyesight in the gym. Um. Where do I even begin with this? Okay, yeah, I, I've done that. Okay, let's have a look around. We still have your locker that we need. And it said we needed a phone. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Observations. How said he wish he had a phone handy? Okay. Maybe it's like maybe it's his name. J A K E five two five three. Hey, it's his own name. Hey, want you? I hate. I hate mean streamers who gang up on your followers. Disgusted. What happened? What? You okay, honey? What went down? Mm. Judos. Paso del Mar, Florida. Mass Marauder flattens foes. Onlookers and participants alike were stunned when an unknown last minute entry swept the competition and won Paso del Mar's fifth annual men's judo tournament this month. Wearing a cloth mask to conceal his identity, the winner who identified himself only as Nine Co. Impressed the capacity crowd with his quickness and control, defeating opponents while outside his weight class. Such excitement and his incredible throwing techniques will make next year's competition even more of a threat for the masked man return. I don't know. T120. Okay. Oh, got a missing cassette. Cal's English essay is the same as this essay. Ooh. So he stole it? What's this? 
breaking at local pharmacy. Whoever it was, I know exactly what they were looking for. Broken the bin for the back, took the drugs out in minutes. Hectanol, well taken. Oh. Alarm clock came in at 2 a.m. Oh, damn, 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 damn. That is some. Um... Check. Did that. Talk to Howard about the essay, see if magazines and library have information on the drugs stolen. Ask Hulk about the break in. Okay. To Hulk, he's How's the closest. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired mm, of talking about that loser. Think... But how would people freaking out? You don't get it? Or do they say whatever? It's just for... mm -hmm. Damn. Games is where you'll stay for now, Dishonor. Damn. Damn, honey. It sounds like you had a, a bit of a rough combo. You okay? Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. But nah. Why would I if they're going to be like that, not worth All your time. You have better things. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Okay. I didn't actually listen to anything you told me. It's a sports performance. Okay, let's go talk to Hal. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. You? I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family. family, family would take him out of the U.S. Really I regret what I have done. Please yeah. let me have this chance to he's breaking the rules. That's not the I point of why he's there. Mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Your mother loved the Nancy Drew books. Your mother? Love her. <laughs> they were so good. Do you I... know why Jake had an empty video cassette she case has good in taste. his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. See ya. Goodbye, Nancy. See ya. One more beer. You got anything for what me? What is it you want now? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Mm, no. There's gotta be like a code somewhere that can help us. Put, heal, ema, elema, element, put element, put elements, no, nord, nor, in order. To open puzzle 
Okay, put elements in order to open puzzle. What we got? Okay, that was Howl's, being that how he forged his stuff. Up, down, left, right, the first letters will turn my flight. That's the directions we need for the chemistry books. Uh, find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time okay oh sinners on a vid okay so that's whoever he got he filmed on that one. What's this one? Uh, nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. Uh, to hat that some me someone must hide ref reflex big secret. Flex bits. One. Worn with great pride. A symbol of kanji. That's the crane. Why do they always have to be different? Oh my lord! No, I have to admit this is a true fact. It's a one true fact. Ooh. Spitting facts, my friend. <laughs> um, it sounds like flip and reverse. To keep uh, up his charade. Charade. Even if it when it meant ch cheating to make his grade, he did what it took. Okay. So got that, but I still have no idea. We're just going through all the hydrate. Oh yes, I will have a drinks. Oh yeah, we've done that one plenty of times. We keep setting off that alarm. Uh B fifteen fifteen twelve. We're probably going to have to write down whatever that is. But I'm pretty sure I missed one. Did I miss one? You were right, Hunt. No.
And that's just this one. So I've got to figure out what the clue is for this one. Why, hello then. How's it going? How's it going, bro? I'm chilling. We are gaming and puzzling. Solving a murder mystery. How are you? Have I ever played the old Discworld games? Mm, I don't think so. Hold on, let me just have one hand right. I'll check. Ooh. You know, I'm, I'm having some peach tea today, lads. Thank you for the hydrate. Hold on. Oh, wait, I can't look in that web browser. This world. I don't think I have. It's a point and click. No, I haven't. Is it good? Have you played it? Oh, stretching my back as well while I'm at it. Because oh, I'm breaking down. I'm getting old. What is this? You guys have to help me. I'm breaking. Mm. Okay. I think it's... Uh, hold on. If anything happens to me, look in my chem chemistry book, page three zero five. Yeah. 305. Let me write that down. Oh! Oh no! I knocked my pillow and it landed on my Wi Fi router. So 305. I might like them, they're pretty good. And they're like this. Ooh, I might have to check them out then. They're back in the 90s for sure. Oh, that's when you played them? Ooh. Okay, I'll have to make a note of that, but check them out. So. How do you think I feel? Or oh, Hayden and Yelly? Hayden and Yell. So if you're 25, what you <laughs> Just a couple of... We're just a bunch of old souls in this chat, aren't we? That's what we're on about. Not age, just old souls. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got those. Mm. Okay. I'm going... Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. See ya! Not you. Goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye. Uh, maybe let me talk to Connie. Hey, Nancy. Again? Need something? I'll maybe let you go. not. Bye. Um... I don't know. Did that. <gasps> the manatee. He's got some money in his teeth. Check the magazines. Did that. In the library. I haven't looked at these. Oh, in the library. Oh, yeah, we read the the the, the steroid book. We read the steroid book already. The hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. I shall have some more peach tea. What are y'all drinking? I got the peach tea. Dan's here with the strawberry milk because he is the oldest of us adults. <laughs> Honestly, can't blame you. Strawberry milk is banging. 
Oh, uh, the oldest of souls. Make me get all the hydrates. Yeah, hydrate me up. So I get water poisoning. And then we'll have some issues. <laughs> Those Neko cuffs. Your yeah, Dan is ancient. Yeah. <laughs> one true, I'm the ancient one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, who is the oldest of us bunch? Is it Neko? I feel he is, purely because... He's got a child. <laughs> so that's how I gauge. <laughs> hmm. One second name. Oh, that's right. I've just remembered. We have to go look at maintenance. So Dan's fairly free. Oh yeah, so he beat you there, one true. Like there's 40, you think? He old, he's old beans. But you're a fully developed bean. <laughs> I'm, uh... I think my brain's still developing because I'm so s silly sometimes. <laughs> okay, let me see. So we need to do note. So note looks like a 7. The arrow, the Tetris block, and then the two dots for E. This one. We're in. You're not quite ripe yet? I sure ain't. Oh, money. I need a few more years on me to hook, hook me up. Okay, we have some uh, thingies. Caution, the cause of high temperature condition must be investigated by qualified personnel and corrective action taken before placing the boiler in operating services. Something tells me I need to write this bad boy down. So we need like, I don't know, 14, uh, 100. 45? But nah. We all, we, we all the same. Not, not quite right. <laughs> Have some gloves. What else have we got? 1967, that's when this place was built. But, um, uh, let's go downstairs. I mean, okay. That seems to be it. We've got some gloves. Um, we still don't have the matchbook. Follow the directions. Oh, we need to search Jake's combo, so his combination. We can do that. This one. Oh yeah, so, uh, is it upstairs? No, it's this way. Story time. So I'm trying to be healthy this week. And so I've like pre-prepped my meals. It's literally just rice, broccoli, sweet corn, and some chicken. Like, ah, oh, I'm really nice and healthy. And yet I've gone and made myself a cake as well. Evidence? J. Rogers under my seat. But uh, it got slightly burned. So, uh... <laughs> but let's be honest, I'm still eat it. I don't mind if I eat burnt cake. Oh. What is this? 
Okay. We have something there. Check. Did that. We still don't have the starting point though. Hmm. What do you guys reckon? So if no sauce, nah. I I went plain. Oh well, I went plain for lunch for dinner today, but for the next couple days, I put some uh, samjang on it. So it's gonna be a little spicy. Let me on a cake. What cake? It is just a basic like sponge cake, but I threw in some sprinkles. So now it's like a funfetti cake because uh. I felt artistic <laughs> when I was cooking. I was like, this, this is what I would like. <laughs> mm. One second, I'm shooting text. Okay. I haven't, I haven't responded, I was just reading. There's stuff going down in my uh, ALT chat. We're all having a bit of a, a whine and a whinge. Um, hold on. Okay, I've talked to all the students here. Let me go talk to Daryl. No. Because you know. Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. Hey, creepy. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Mm. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a Curious. meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Okay. Do you oh, we didn't tell Jake him about the empty cassette video tape. cassette case in his locker. Why were you in Jake's locker? I'm writing an article about the murder. I'm writing an article about the murder for the school newspaper. Oh. I have no idea. What else can I do for you? Bye. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Nancy, the root. I have the solution to your mystery. Meet me in the basement of the maintenance room at the high school. Bye, Nancy. Ooh, okay. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Maybe he gave us the note. Let's go see what he's up to. But yeah, so my meals this week will consist of broccoli and chicken and cake. Uh oh. True lock. Um. Um. Screw that. I don't want to figure that out. I have bolt cutters, baby. Boom! Don't need. Uh, hold on, I wrote down what these were at. On the poster, we had 14, 145. Ouch, too hot. Yes, we're using gloves. 14. Uh, 100, so that can stay. And 45. Why is it locked? Oh 
my god. Wait, no, 45. Well, I blew up the school. You got an awesome tan on your trip to Florida. That is, if you consider third degree burns a tan. Fatal error. Try again. Sure will. Hey, Josh, how's it going? How you doing, honey? How was your day? Oh, I need my glove. So we need you. That's a 45. You need a hundred. Boom! No explosions now. Good, good, me. Yeah, I'm vibing. I'm living my silly bean self. I'm playing some puzzle games. This way. <gasps> I have a tape. I should look around first before I leave. Okay. Hear that? We've got to look around first before we leave. Maxine's. Mm. Oh, here we go. We have our symbol. Oh, a hydrate. Thank you. I shall have a sip once I've drawn out this uh, symbol. Boom, boom, boom. Why, well, thank you. What are you drinking tonight, honey? Oh, tasty. I got some peach tea. Don't know the brand. It's not Lipton. I know that much. Okay, is there anything else in here? Wow. Definitely can't get out through that way. <gasps> Coin! Okay, that's everything. We're escaping. The Hyboids tea. <gasps> I found that in 7-Eleven the other day. Like, I know I know you mentioned it, that it was the, the combo. But I was also just like, I've never seen that one. That's weird. But I found it. But hey, I didn't buy it though. I bought that, uh, the Jim Bean Coca-Cola. And that's how I found out I don't really like it. <laughs> But I, I'm still going to try that uh, the iced tea one. I just need to go buy it. Hold on. We need to go back to high school. I'm going to go to the library and try and open up this box. Helps if we have a key. We also need these bad boys. It's quite good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try it. I have to admit, when it comes to the adult drinks... Oh, excuse me. I am very addicted to the... Uh, Horiyu Kasusu Arundi. That's my number one. I can down like ten of those, and I'm ready for another. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh wait no we're gonna do this puzzle and then we're gonna go watch that video at home okay so we've got to arrange these bad boys so first start off put our helium carbon no sodium got a chlorine uh, pot now potassium got some zinc and some arsenic some corrupton baby we're gonna wanna be superman uh, I've also got some yttrium, some zingaromi, some silver, some telluram, iodine, xeon, boom, rare earths. 
Uh, <laughs> they also half an ums. Some iridium, and the last one is a mercury, babies. You ready? It's freaking weird. Ray! Did you miss the nuggies? Nah, we're still, we're still, we're still waiting for nuggies. We're just, we're dealing with chemicals right now. <laughs> okay, so I have these written down. So let me open this bad boy up. So first we start off with the matchbox. Helium is up two. Carbon is right one. Sodium is L3. One, two, three. Chlorine is D2. Uh, potassium is right one. Zinc is down one. Arsenic is one, two, three, four, up four. Krypton is left two. Y is down three, one, two, three. I don't remember three. Zions are four. One, two, three, four. Arc silver. One, two, three. Iodine up two. Xeon, one, two, three. One, two. For the Earths, the half room is a left one. IRs, D2. And L3. One, two, three. We're in! We broke into the system! Okay, now we have. Now we have two videos. Let's go have a look see, shall we? You guys ready to watch some video cassette tapes? They make you feel old. Did any of you guys have like a video set, a video cassette tape collection? I did. I had all like Disney movies. It's still at my parents' house. Something to make, Something this, to make this work. I have this one first. Yes. Movie time. Drug station. The Hectanol was stolen by our boy Hector. Already feel old. <laughs> yes, we are old. <laughs> well, hey, I'm a, I'm one of the young beans, and I had them. Oh, we got Kareem with a trophy. Connie with a trophy. Hal is cheating on his paper. Oh yeah, anime was on VHS. Mm, I don't think I had anime on VHS. I had like... Okay, so that one's done. I had Disney's... I had Star Trek. I had like the, the original series Star Trek's on a set. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Terribly Let's take bad. A look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does. I'm not that young man. Schematics, telemetry, Damn. And signature <laughs> intelligence. But I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news. Check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude. Can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. That's Cole our undercover cop, our uncle. Important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc., etc., and some other stuff I don't understand. But I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. 
I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my Aww. very own private island, retired at 17. He thought he was gonna retire! He ended up Anna? dead! Is that you? Can I go back? How do I... So who's here? <gasps> Detective Beach! I didn't expect Detective you. Beach. <laughs> I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No. You said my journal. You said that you found my journal. <gasps> He's got a gun! Go in the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. He's you got a gun! Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as My name's as Nancy. Goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Um. Um. Find the road paintings. Um. We can we can send him to the safe. It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. What's can the we... combination? Um. Uh, oh my god, I wrote it down! The Sigma something Kappa. Okay, so we can't click that one. The move, move, move Pi Phi Zeta. Pi Zeta. That's not it, Nancy. Uh, Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. He's got a gun! You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Zeta Moo Moo Pie. <laughs> Zeta Moo Moo Pie. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! No! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer <laughs> you to another set of bars. Where does gun go? Come on, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch we did it! And his boss, formerly known as Detective <laughs> Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity. I ain't scared of no gun. Top secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's <laughs> father <laughs> has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. We are on vacation, lads. We're gonna get a sun tat. Or in my case, a sunburn. <laughs> what year was passing on my height? Nine, it was founded in 1967. Boo -boo. What do we got? Ned Defender? Oh, well, I said no for both, but okay. No Easter eggs, no pop pranksters, no barnacle, no burp, no money grubber, jukeboxing, Q. Confronting all those weaselly suspects. Boom, boom, boom. It's Japan! I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities. You guys want to come join and me and Neko in Japan? Towns, me, Neko, and Nancy. A ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, PG Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. 
I've already heard that the Ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Spookies! Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. <laughs>